Good morning. It is Saturday morning. It's actually 6.30 in the morning to be precise. And I thought this weekend I would take like bring you guys along for like I guess a little weekend in my life. I don't have any like crazy exciting plans or anything, but I just thought I'd bring you along for like a normal weekend. And to be completely honest, I have been like my confidence lately has been so bad. I have tried to film this video like four times this week. I've filmed four different types of video and I just keep going, no, nah, that sucks. Chucking it in the bin, restarting. So now we're just gonna go fuck it and we're gonna film and actually film the weekend. So normally every single day I wake up at around like 5.15, 5.30 to go to sunrise. But Saturday mornings I always have like a mini sleep in. So I wake up at like 6.20 because I have a massive kind of massive training session on Saturday mornings with my coach and Friday nights I have a pretty big session on the track so it's like a lot of load on my body night and morning so I like to have a little bit of extra sleep as well and then also like Saturday nights is probably like the night of the week that I stay up the latest so I want to get a little bit more sleep so I can last till then but I'm going to go take Oakley for a quick walk around the block before I head off to training. Okay, I'm running pretty late, but this is my gym fit. We're wearing color, and I honestly can't remember the last time I wore color in the gym because I've been like just in such like a rut with my confidence. I've literally worn black or navy blue every session, so I'm really putting myself out of my comfort zone today. I'm gonna be the only one in the gym anyway, but like I just feel like I don't haven't wanted to like stand out. And like anyone that knows me, I'm like a color girl, like I only wear bright colors, but lately I've just not been like that, so. Pre-workout snack always. We're having two dates. If I can open this thing. And then I'm also going to quickly make up a little pre-workout. Okay, I'll catch you guys at the gym. Basically, my session is all ollie lifting. So like power cleans, hang clean pulls. I've got heavy pull-ups, push jerks, um, box jumps. You'll see it. I'll film it. from the gym and the session was actually pretty good like a lot of my weights went up from last week and like I'm only in my third maybe week back in the gym and I haven't done like cleans off the floor in months like I actually can't remember the last time I reckon it was like in Jan so yeah they were a lot better than I expected um pull-ups were like a lot heavier than they had been because my reps have been quite high lately and this is like sort of like a deload week so my reps are a lot lower and my weights are up so it's fun i love it i was happy with my 15 kilo um pull-ups because i didn't think i'd be able to do that anymore um what else we had some pulls i didn't film them but we also had some 90 kilo hand clean pulls which was pretty good some push jerks some med wall slams Bit of everything. So I'm gonna have a brekkie now, big bowl of oats, and then I gotta get ready for footy because on Saturdays I go watch my boyfriend Boyd play footy. That's pretty much like takes up the whole day and the game's at midday and I've just gotten home and it's 20 past 10. So I'm gonna quickly have brekkie, wash my hair, get myself ready and decide what to wear. No, go back to sleep. Guys, you look so cute. I don't know why you're so tired. Like Life of a dog is literally goals. You go for a half an hour walk and this is the, you for the rest of the day. Oh, I wish I could have a life like you, Oak. Okay, I've just had a shower and put on like a bit of um, like bronzer and blush and stuff. Whoa, whoops. I think I'm like so obsessed with it at the moment is using my shark to like style my hair, especially now that my regrowth is fully fucked. Like I'm literally a brunette now because I haven't had my hair done in a long time. Which is good because my hair is getting so much healthier. But I like to sort of mask my brown hair by like curling it. I used to always do this when I didn't have as much of a blonde addiction as I do now. And I use the um, shark styler and it's, oh my god. It is so good. It literally takes me 10 minutes to like curl my whole head. Like let me show you. And you do it with like half damp hair as well. Okay, my hair is done. <laughs> Obviously, I'm gonna brush it out, but this is what we've got. 
and I literally dried my hair and styled it at the same time. I feel like I missed so many strands. But in the meantime, I need to pick my outfit. Now for a bit of context, as you would know, I wear literal activewear every single day. So I get really excited for the footy game because it's like the one day a week or even like a fortnight that I actually get to wear normal clothes. So I get really excited trying to put together an outfit even though I own like no normal clothes. Okay, I still haven't brushed my hair out, excuse that. Um, I'm thinking white jeans. I've been wanting to wear them for a while and today's like a half sunny day, half maybe rainy day. So I've got some baggy white jeans. Excuse, excuse the state of the bedroom. This is option one, but I'm kind of thinking I wear this top so it matches my shoes, maybe. Okay, I'm sold on this one. I can't get the tag off my jeans, so just don't worry about that. This is what we're going for. Right, now I need to change my earrings and fix his hair. All right. Let's go to the football. All right, we're home. The boys won footy and they beat like a really good team. So we're all gonna head to um, like one of the players slash girlfriend's house. And I don't really know what we're gonna be doing. It's only like 4.30, but we're gonna go to their house, kind of just spend a bit of the night there. Normally when we go to their house, we do like a games night, which I love cause I don't drink. So it's like something that I can do that doesn't involve drinking and being drunk. So we normally play categories. I love it. Very wholesome, especially for a 23 year old to be playing board games on a Saturday night, but I love it. I assume we'll be doing that and then people will like be drinking and we'll get like Uber Eats or pizzas or something for dinner. Don't really know, but I'm gonna do a little outfit change because I feel like I'm gonna get cold. <laughs> Yuck. Okay, I'm just heading home. It was not a games night. Well, it kind of was. I think we played like a who's most likely to. And I'm driving home now. Just had fish bowl for dinner on Uber Eats and I feel disgustingly full and uncomfortable. So I'm going home to bed and it's like 8.30 and then hopefully get a big nice sleep. Like thinking 10 hours, nine till seven and then get up and go to the markets hopefully in the morning. That's the plan. Good morning. I've just woken up from my hopeful sleep in. I didn't sleep in as late as I would have hoped. I woke up at like seven. Went to bed at 9.30. This is still pretty good. Before I get myself ready, I'm going to put some chicken in the slow cooker. So by the time I've done all my errands, I'll have some slow cooked pulled chicken to meal prep with. I don't know that. Oh, that was Alexa. I'm a bit unsure as well if I want to meal prep this week. And like, I kind of want to make, I made like a real of like a, a meal prep reel like a couple weeks ago. It was so much fun. And I kinda wanna make another one of them today and meal prep, but then also I'm unsure if I wanna have the same meals every day this week because I wanna experiment with some new meals and I hate like meal prepping something I've never made before because then if it's not like good, you're like obviously stuck with it for four days or five days or however long you make it for. Oh, that bone broth is definitely off. That sucks. All right, this is my hot girl walk fit that Oak's very excited for. All seems to be airborne boxes. What? Can I go for a dubby? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Okay, we just finished our walk and it was so wholesome. So normally if I don't want to walk on the sand, like on a Sunday, I normally go like Burley, Miami, but I also like kind of hate it because it's so busy. So I did Crumbin today and it was so nice. Like didn't really see many people I know. It was just so nice and like families everywhere, like dogs everywhere. The path is like so wide and it's like all along the water. So you don't have to go down back streets. It was so nice. So I just want to walk there like all the time now. I loved it. I actually have no idea how far we walked. I'm trying to get rid of wearing my Apple Watch and I don't actually use it. Like the only thing I use it for is the time and timing my rest periods in the gym. But I have this like habit. This is like me being a control freak. If I'm on a walk, like I'll log it, but it's only because like 
if I want to walk 3Ks, like we have to turn around at exactly 1.5 and like I have to walk exactly three. Like it always has to be like exact distances. And I kind of just want to like let my hair down and relax a little bit. So I didn't log my walk, which was actually nice. And it's also nice like walking just as far as I want to go, like whether it be further or whether it be less than normal, like I just don't want to wear it anymore because I don't use it for like anything useful. And I want to get like a nice like gold like dainty watch to wear instead. And then I can obviously still have the time. Anyways, I was going to go to the markets, but I just had a look in the fridge and I actually have so much like produce that I still have from last week. And I kind of feel like it would be a bit of a waste of time and I still need to go to Coles anyway. So I think I'm just going to do all my shopping at Coles. Shop done. Can we just talk about cost of living at the moment? I bought like food and stuff just for me nothing for Boyd nothing for Oakley I already did all of Oakley's dog food yesterday I've already like slow cooked my chicken so I only needed like lunch meat it really wasn't that much I don't think but I also am eating a lot at the moment so maybe it was $190 and that's only till Thursday like meal prep not even today meal prep from Monday to Thursday I have so much respect and do not understand how people buy groceries and feed a whole entire family like if I had a family my bill would be like over a thousand dollars a week. Like what the heck? All right, we're home and I just put some comfy clothes on. Now let's do a grocery haul. I've divided everything into like types of food. So starting off with my carbs for the week, rice. I've got some bread, some pasta, like pre-training pikelets. I'm gonna make mini pizzas. And then also some dates for like pre-training in the mornings. Then for meat, I literally only got some grass-fed like beef stir fry because I've obviously already got chicken in this um, slow cooker. And then I also got some kombuchas as my drink. Then fruit and veg, we got a lot here. Mushrooms, straws. I got some bok choy for my stir fry. Heaps of zucchinis. I got like 1,200 capsicums. Cherry tomatoes, broccoli, three avocados, some spinach. Then I also got a brownie mix. I'm gonna make boiled some brownies. It's like become a bit of a weekly thing. Um, I've also got pumpkin soup as like my morning tea. These soups slap. So this one is the pumpkin and cashew. I also had the cauliflower and cashew of the day and also just the coconut pumpkin. They're so good and they're like really clean as well and just taste amazing. Also got some goat cheese for like a pesto pasta I'm gonna make. Then for like condiments, taco seasoning, nutritional yeast, bone broth. This is like not the bone broth that I drink like in the morning. This is just like what I cook my slow cooked meats in. Cause I don't know if this one's like, it looks all right, but I have like the paste one that I drink, enchilada sauce for like burrito bowls and then some pesto as well. And that is my $200 shop. Also, I have such exciting news and this is where I will be for probably most of the day. We got an infrared sauna on our deck from Revel. They sent me one, which is like, what on earth? How is that real life? It's a three to four person one and we've been like using it like literally daily. I'll give you a little like tour. This is like where it sits and is so good it's like so this is three to four person and it's probably a bit smaller than i expected because there's only like three seats i could i'm not really sure what that if that's a seat i don't know but it's so good it has like an inbuilt speaker um and also like you can change like all like the colors of the light so you can have like red light blue light purple like literally every color on here and the sauna only takes 15 minutes to heat up all the way up to max temp so it's so good, like, if I'm home and then Boyd's on his way home from footy and you just be like, chuck the sauna on. So I've been having it before bed, like, three times a week, and I've been sleeping so good. So if you've been thinking about getting an infrared sauna, I highly recommend because it's just so much easier as well being able to do it at your own house and rather than get in your car and go do it elsewhere. So I've been loving it, and I'm definitely going to be sitting in it a lot today. It's so good. Obsessed. Our deck, though, is really slowly coming together. We've got our sauna, our egg chair, and our little, like, lounges. I do, however, have these flower pots that have literally turned into the most disgusting weeds. So I really want to go to Bunnings and buy some cute flowers or even get some herbs and grow my own herbs in here. I have not decided yet. So I've just had a wholesome like hour journaling in the sun here, which has been really nice. 
and now I have a little bit of work to do. I just need to, I need to edit a reel, which I normally should have stronger boundaries on a Sunday and I'm trying to like never work on a Sunday. But then also I know that if I do it today, then I won't have as much of a stressful day tomorrow. So I'm going to do that for around another hour and then a bit of a house clean. And then I'm going to start meal prepping and I'm going to film it. So it's going to take a really long time. <laughs> It'll probably take me around three hours because I've got to film everything. But it'll be worth it because I love making those kind of videos. And then we'll see what kind of time we're at around then. I've just spent the past three and a half hours meal prepping for the week. So let's do a little haul of what we've got. So first up, I've got my soups. Pumpkin, coconut, cashew, pumpkin. They're ready to go to have with some bread. Then I've got, these are burrito slash taco bowls and rice with cheese. And then I've also got a little guac on the side so that it doesn't go like yucky mixed with it. Then these are mini chicken pizzas. Look so good. Then I've got two hoisin beef stir fries and rice and two chicken pesto pastas. Then I've got two chocolate swirl overnight oats and then two birthday cake overnight oats. Then I've just got my dates all like packed away, ready to like just whip out the fridge when I'm in a rush. And then I've also got a big container full of brownies. So this took a long time. I didn't film it on this camera for you guys, but I will post the short that I made on my shorts so keep an eye out for that and you'll be able to see everything I guess with a little bit more detail but I'm so glad that's done that took so long and I've got so much cleaning to do now and Boyd and I have decided to cancel dinner because we can't be bothered so we'll just get takeaway but we were going to go to light years and get some bow buns but I just don't really want to get dressed already looking nice you know look how pretty the view is so obviously Sundays are my rest day and I try and keep my strain as low as possible on whoop. But I swear to God, like doing household chores is more strenuous than any of my training sessions during the week. Like today I've tried to do the bare minimum, but obviously I had to clean the house and our house is like a three story. So it's like up and down the stairs nonstop. I did like a rubbish run, which I, I had to go down to the street. I was like cooking for like three, four hours, like on my feet, all that. So Oakley, manners. He knows when it's dinner time and he does this growling. Anyways, um, my whoop strain's up to 14 on a Sunday. It's like more than like a training day. So I really hate that for me. And then like I try and catch up on my sleep and then it's like, well, what's the point? Because I'm just having a huge day, seven days a week for 52 weeks of the year. While we wait for our food, we're going to watch The Little Mermaid. Are you serious? You don't get chocolate. Human food. <laughs> He's like, I want it anyway. I don't care. Human food. Dinner is served. This is mine. Full pork burrito. I'll probably give it in a big tray. Box thing. Yeah. Oh, that looks good. Yeah, it does. There's Boyd's. Got tacos. They look elite. There you go. Thank you. And now we will continue to watch Little Mermaid. All right, that is the end of my weekend. Thanks for coming along if you made it this far. It's now 8.30, so we're heading up to bed, ready for a big sleep to start the week right. But let me know what you guys want to see next week. Otherwise... I love you so much and bye.